For 2019, the Chrysler 300 returns for its 15th model year since being released as a 2005 version. As I do every year for as many Mopar cars as possible, this video is going to be a full buying guide or you can call it a lineup overview for the 2019 Chrysler 300. I did make a similar type of video in last summer when the info first got released, but now we have all the exact options, pictures and prices available, so this will give you all the info that you need. And this is going to be pretty much covering every single option for each model in the lineup, such as the colors, packages, features, along with the prices and photos. And throughout the video I will also be highlighting the new changes that are here for 2019, but were not found in 2018, so this will also get you all the updates of the models as well. The 2019 300s are now being sold in dealerships, so hopefully this guide helps you decide on a model, or maybe you'll just find it interesting to see what's offered, like I do. So this year the lineup looks exactly the same as last year, with 5 different models. There's the Touring, Touring L, S, Limited, and C which is at the top. And on all models, except for the top model, 300C, there is the same 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 since 2011. And this engine has 292 horsepower, 260 pound feet of torque, and does get a bit of a power boost on the S model. And there's only one transmission, the 8 speed automatic. Rear wheel drive is standard on every model, but you can bump up to all wheel drive for 2500 bucks extra. The only exception to that is if you have the V8 Hemi, in which case you can't get all wheel drive. And that V8 Hemi does come on the 300C, which I'll get to later. And for the V6, MPG is 19 city and 30 highway for rear wheel drive, and 18 city and 27 highway for all wheel drive. So let's get into these models. First up we have the Touring, with a base price of $28,995, so there's no change from 2018. Some standard features include the Uconnect 4C, with 8.4 inch touchscreen and Sirius XM, a park view rear backup camera, cloth bucket seats, and bifunctional halogen projector headlights. The Touring has three packages offered. Driver convenience group costs $995, and adds bigger 18 inch wheels, 4 wheel independent suspension, LED fog lights, a remote start, and a garage door opener. The sport appearance package is $12.95 and adds a lot of blacked out trim pieces like a black grille surround, black LED taillights, black Chrysler badging, and 20 inch black noise wheels. If you do prefer chrome, there's a chrome appearance package for $12.95 and that gives you 20 inch aluminum wheels, chrome mirrors, badging, and grille. There are four options on the Touring. 17 by 7 inch wheels come standard, and the other three you can get only if you choose the packages that I mentioned above. And one thing to note is that the black noise wheels that you see on screen are new for 2019. On the inside you can get either black or linen colored seats. And the only option I found you can add to the base Touring is an electric vehicle tracking system for $495. The second model is the Touring L, for a base price of $32,640, which is about the same as last year. Features include heated 8-way power leather trim seats, with 4-way power lumbar adjustment, 18-inch wheels, keyless enter and go, and a security alarm. There are three pretty expensive packages that you can get on your Touring L. The value package is $29,95, and adds tons of cool stuff like a dual pane panoramic sunroof, LED fog lights, 5 years of Sirius XM, and navigation on the Uconnect. Driver Convenience Group goes down to $23.95 and adds all those same features except for the sunroof. And finally there's a $300 Premium Group with a hefty $3,295 cost, adding safety features like blind spot and cross path detection, park sense system, mirrors with turn signals and lights, 9 Alpine speakers and subwoofer, and most of the other features from the other groups. There are just two wheel choices, 18 by 75 inch aluminum or 20 by 8 inch rims for $495. And a couple features you can add as a standalone option is that sunroof that we talked about for $19.95 and a cargo net for $30. So nothing really new here from last year. In the middle of the lineup we have the S for $36,395 which is just $100 more than 2018. The 300S still has the V6 standard, but it's a bit more powerful with 300 horsepower and 264 pound-feet of torque, which is a bump of 8 and 4 for those figures. There's also the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi available with 363 horsepower and 394 pound-feet of torque. This engine gets 16 city and 25 highway MPG, and if you do want this engine, it costs an additional 3000 bucks. I'm not sure if the S gets the electronically controlled active exhaust like the Charger 5.7, but I doubt it since the 300 is more of a luxury car than the Charger. And the S also gets a 220mm rear axle. 
Some standard features are those new black noise wheels, performance tuned suspension, black exterior and interior accents, paddle shifters, and a sport mode. For the S there are 6 packages, but most are similar to the other model so I'll only go over a couple, but you can see the rest on screen. The S model appearance package is $17.95 and adds a really nice body color performance front fascia extension, lower grille closeout panels, and a body colored spoiler. This look is actually from the 300 SRT from 2012 to 2014. The 300 S alloy package for $6.95 adds some bronze features like 20 inch dark bronze aluminum wheels, alloy floor mats, dark bronze grille surround and badging, and titanium finished exhaust tips. And finally there's the Alpine Audio Group for $9.95. This replaces the Beats Audio Group from last year, so that's now gone, it's replaced with Alpine, and this group adds you 9 speakers, 506 watt amplifier, and subwoofer in the trunk. There's just two wheel options, 20 by 8 inch black noise and 20 by 8 inch dark bronze from the alloy package. A black painted roof can be added for 1500 bucks. Inside the leather trim seats can be had in black, black caramel, or black smoke coloring. You can upgrade to black suede and Napa leather seats for 395 and the same add-ons carry over from the other models. Moving on up to the penultimate model, we have the limited for 38240 which is a price increase of $700 over 2018. The Limited adds lots of luxury features like heated and ventilated powered Napa leather trim front seats, 20 inch wheels, heated rear seats, a memory system for the driver's seat, mirrors and radio, and a heated wood and leather wrapped steering wheel. There are three packages to add to your Limited. The Safety Tech Plus group is 3000 bucks, and you get all kinds of safety features like adaptive cruise control with stop, advanced brake assist, automatic high beams, forward collision warning and even rain sensitive wipers. The light group is $9.95 and adds adaptive by Xenon HID headlights and an automatic leveling system. And the Harman Kardon audio group adds 19 speakers and an amplifier for $17.95. As for wheels, there's just a one option with standard 20 by 8 inch polished aluminum rims. On the inside, your seats can come in black, deep mocha or linen. And the different add-ons for this model would be navigation on the Uconnect system for $9.95 and a power backlight shade for $2.95. Finally, on the top of the line is the 300C with a base price of $41,695. This is also $700 more than 2018. As we said earlier, the C has a 5.7 liter V8 Hemi standard, so this means that the 300C has class leading horsepower and torque. Standard features include deep quilted, perforated, and ventilated Napa leather trim seats, real natural pour mocha wood interior bezels, adaptive HID headlights, and heated and cooled cup holders. Basically to me the 300C looks like the most luxurious version you can get and it's not quite as sporty as the S. There are three packages for the C. The Safety Tech Plus group and the Harman Kardon audio groups are the exact same as the Limited so I'm not going to bother uh, saying that all over again. And there's also the Sun, Sound and Nav package for $36.95 which adds the Harman Kardon stuff as well as the panoramic sunroof and navigation. The only wheel option is 20 by 8 inch polished aluminum. Inside we have three color options for the seats, black, deep mocha, and indigo linen. One feature that's exclusive to the C is the add-on of premium leather wrapped interior accents for $19.95. So that's all there is for the five models, now we gotta look at the colors. So last year there was nine options, this year it's down to seven with one late availability extra as well. So billet and green metallic are no longer available in 2019. I'm guessing that green metallic didn't sell very well because uh, it just doesn't make sense to be on a luxury car. But the billet is actually going to be replaced by a new color. Chrysler has given this color two different names. So on the Charger and Challenger it's called Triple Nickel, which you can see on screen. And on the 300 it's called Silver Mist. So I guess those names appeal to two different markets. And that's going to be a late availability option as I said. So that leaves us with seven colors at the moment. Gloss Black, Maximum Steel, Granite Crystal, Ceramic Grey, Ocean Blue Metallic, Velvet Red, and Bright White. So to do a quick recap on what's new for 2019, there's not much. Number one is the black noise wheel designs are new. Number two is the Beats audio systems are replaced by Alpine on the middle models. Number three, 
Billet and Green Metallic are out, and Silver Mist is in. And number four, there's minor price tweaks from last year. So that's the end of the video. Obviously, there's not a whole lot different for 2019, as Chrysler has just added basically two minor changes and that's it. And it's also been reported that this is going to be the last year of the 300 before it gets discontinued, but hopefully that's not the case and hopefully it does live on, but uh, no one knows until it's actually final. Make sure to stay tuned for more buying guides across the Dodge and Chrysler lineup. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.